What's going on? It's Rap, sorry, BigBlueOnBias.com. I'm back. Haven't done a video since Sunday, and things have gotten pretty crazy with the Giants. So actually, I tweeted out, I think, the next day, or I'd done a, I had even done a video talking about, like, okay, people need to relax. The Giants lost a game, but chances are they were going to lose a game at some point the rest of the way. They weren't going to win out and win their final eight games, right? Their four-game win streak, and then four games after that. They were probably going to lose a game, so relax. Okay, and now news is really starting to trend um, just right uh, straight down for the New York Giants. Things are not looking good over the past day or so. Daniel Jones has, aside from the hamstring situation, he now has an ankle injury. He may not play on Sunday versus the Browns. James Bradbury is on the COVID list, so he won't be playing. That's a huge loss because now really they only have Isaac Aedem. Darnay Holmes hasn't practiced this week, so he might not even be available. They would have to go to the practice squad to add corners there. Um, so that's not good. And Jason Garrett, I know obviously a lot of people are not happy with Jason Garrett and the way he has called plays. But uh, he is he's tested positive for COVID. And Freddie Kitchens is now calling plays for the Giants this week. So over the past day or so, news has just has straight downhill for the Giants. Um, a lot of bad news doesn't mean that the game is over we will see we will watch and we'll see how the Giants plan to attack this game um, but against the good Cleveland Browns football team especially their offensive line probably the best offensive line in the NFL uh, they are very very good the Browns offensive line so it's going to be a tough matchup uh, for the Giants defense they're already obviously missing key pieces just about every single edge rusher that they started the season with is not there anymore whether injury trade it's not looking good over there for the Giants in terms of healthy edge rushers. Now you lose arguably maybe the league's best corner this year in James Bradbury. He's not available. Darnay Holmes, he might not play. He hasn't practiced this week. So they are in a really tough position. And obviously their quarterback, Daniel Jones, may not play. And now Freddie Kitchens, who knows how he's going to be calling plays. I know people are probably going to say, well, can't you know, it's got to be better than Jason Garrett. Well, We'll see. We'll see how he calls plays. Maybe he'll be very conservative with the play calling um, because he just doesn't want to mess things up. But at the same time, conservative may actually also be good because if you look at if there's any chance the Giants win this football game or at least compete in this football game, they are going to have to bring that Colt McCoy strategy that they had against Seattle. And if Colt McCoy plays, well, then I guess it fits right into that strategy. They need to run the football a lot, and they need to use their offensive line to their advantage. Will Hernandez is the second in run block win rate, okay? He's second in run block win rate. Andrew Thomas is ninth. The Giants overall, as an offensive line, a good run blocking team, okay? Wayne Gallman, one of the top rushers, uh, one of the top running backs in the league when it comes to rush yards over expectation percentage, so he gets extra yards. He's a good running back. Tough running back. Uh, very north-south guy, too. So that is really where their game plan uh, should be for this upcoming week. December football, they're going to need uh, they're, they're going to need to run the football and at least just not be as bad as they were in terms of time of possession against um, the Arizona Cardinals this week where they lost time of possession by 15 minutes. That is not going to work with their current situation. Okay, they need to run the ball effectively, which they have the potential to do. They have a good run blocking offensive line, a good run game. Um, so, and you look at their analytical advantage, okay, and I had tweeted this out, I tweeted the graph out, um, their analytical advantage, uh, one of the best in the league this, this week in terms of their matchup against Cleveland when it comes to running the football. Analytically, they have a big time, one of the best advantages this week when it comes to running the football, um, and their opponent in the Cleveland Browns. So, that's what they should be doing, they should be running the football, and, they kind of have to try and win time of possession and just score enough points. So the Giants over the past day or so haven't gotten great news, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how this week unfolds for the Giants moving forward, and I'll definitely give you some updates.